Hi everyone. I will teach you today how to make a um, small arrangement. It's a marking number with the ballerina attachment. Here, I do have a ballerina and number. First of all, I will I will make a base. Uh, I will I'm using twelve inches balloon. Um, usually for the first uh, row as a base, I double stuff them to be more stronger. Uh, I inflate them for eight inches. Now they have a like pear shape. Um, I prefer nice and round. I disinflate a little bit and forming. Now nice and round, tying together. And now I make a quad cluster. The second layer will be the same size as the first And one more smaller one. Um, on this machine I used 2.0 uh if you use a uh, sizer like the table one or the box one i recommend the uh, six inches now i take two weight balloon double stuff and I will um, fill with the water. I'll fill with the water. And now I will attach to each other. I'm using the balloon next. For me, it's the easier. But you can use the 260 or um, fishing line or. Then I take my um, weight put in the middle and go through in the middle two balloons all the way to the bottom. And tie with the other neck of the balloon. Then the smallest size, I take two neck going around the two balloon here, the second layer. And now I have a base. 
now I inflate the number seven and I will attach to the base. Use the machine to inflate uh, numbers or any foil balloons. I always take a stick and opening the vowel. Most and now um to make a little bit um better shape i will add the hand pump because this one is uh, very this one is powerful uh the if we don't feel if it's enough or not the balloon can pop so uh, then i use the hand pump Now I take 260, taking the ear out, make knot on the other side, stretch, take the vowel and roll it down and tie together 260. Then taking the base here, I put through two balloons, always between two, all the way to the bottom. back on the second row and just point around the balloon and make a tie and make a knot so rest I will make over here now I inflate the ballerina Now I will use the hand pump too. She's so cute. Now I'm looking around if you have a back of the balloon in front. Yes, here is the back with the old letters. Here in the bottom, I will use this as a, as a bag. So I will attach probably over here. Now I will attach small balloons around here make the base a little bit more puffy i make three of each three of each color This one bigger size than first one. Uh, this is going to be in the bottom.
in this video i will show you two different techniques how to attach small balloons to the base okay so first one you can use the rubber band uh, take a balloon go around and attach to the middle one go through and then then easy to move you can do whatever you want to do with them And second one, you can use the neck. Take a neck from the small balloons. Find neck inside from uh, the base and attach them. My own preference using neck. Also, you can use 260, and I'll show you. Uh, okay, I tied 260 to the base again to take in between two balloons. Tie, take small balloons. Put in the place where I want to, going two times here, and then going around the next to the big balloon, and then I can move over here. So then I can make one uh, one more attachment over here. Two sixty. And I will look where I want to put it, how it's going to look better. I just see that is the best way to glue it. I have double side tape. Cutting in a small pieces, just put the ballerina close to the number and now I see over here where I want to attach and the place looks perfect for attachment. So I take the double side tape, add here, remove the paper and attach together the second place i will attach here uh, with the arm This is the vowel. We don't need this over here. We should make um, arrangement nice and neat. So I take the clear regular tape. Attach and go back as far as you can. Here is the clear tape. I make a cross over here and you don't nobody see nobody mention it something over there but nice and neat now I like how the base 
and ballerinette match attachment look uh i will add a little bit different kind of flowers um uh, and maybe i will decorate a little bit number make more fancy here i have this kind of stone i will add over here So the the customer was asking for um, to add a little bit of red color. I will make red flowers. I always use the high float. So um, I just make a three small loops. One, two, and three. And here I will attach the flower. I take the end of the red balloon and twist it around the fat, the loops. Now I take I don't know, like five in, five in, five six fingers, twist, making a bubble, and twist. Again, making one more bubble and take the big bubble, the main balloon. Do not twist the bubble in between them itself because it's going to be too much pressure, it can pop. Then take, hold, um, take the big one and go around the first bubble pinch and make one more the same thing go around now we have to make three the same uh, base just measure as the first one and twist it around And then going back here, measure, twist, and twist around the pinches. And go back, measure, twist, and twist around the green leaves. Now I take the all ear taking air out from the end over here pushing open two bubbles pushing this balloon in between and going around pinches 
going back to leaves twist cut the end you can go twist around two more times and cut everything what you don't need it now we have nice flower then i have to make five more This is a good example. When you work in the the balloon to pop, do not panic. Uh, it's pop, and this over here, twist around. Take another one. Attach and continue do whatever where you finish. I'm making three pinch, two pinches, and twisting around the, this one, and a leaf. I don't need to use any glue, uh, glue dots, or something else. Same using, I make two, even like three pinches. I cut the end. Then one more over here. One over here.
the small stars, I will use the glue dots. I take a dot, attach to the star, and put in the place where we need, and then I add one more. And I will add one more flower here and I think it will be enough. And the final touch here, the roses added, I used glue dots and it's done. I just measure, measure the green balloon, how long I need. I cut, tie and glue it the ends to looks nice. And now I will add a few butterflies uh, in the same color as a balloon. So it's done. We did a beautiful arrangement for the ballerina lover. And I hope you will learn a lot from this lesson. Thank you for learning with me. Please uh, like this video and subscribe.